Derivatives trading involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. In this two minute trading tip, I wanted to talk to you guys about achieving balance in your lifestyle and how important it is to trading. So if I asked you today, is trading your life, is it the most important thing going on in your life? And a lot of us would say yes. A lot of us are so committed to trading and, and we're so engulfed in markets. It is our life. The problem with that is if trading is your life and trading is going poorly, then your life is certainly going poorly. These are the slumps that traders get into where they cause a lot of destruction to themselves and their accounts. So many of us come into this career wanting autonomy, wanting the flexibility in our schedule, wanting to be able to come into the markets, trade a couple hours a day, make some money, and then be able to spend time with family and friends. And the interesting and elusive thing about that is when we don't have success in the markets, our goal shifts from wanting to have this balance and autonomy and uh, flexibility into I need to spend 10 hours a day studying. I need to be committed to you know, learning more about markets. I need to, you know, find all these indicators. I need to find all these people. I need to look at these studies. And, and we're constantly trying to fine tune this plan. And in reality, we're just doing a poor job at executing the plan we already have. So we spend all this time spinning our wheels. We feel like we're not making progress. And eventually for a lot of traders, this encourages them to participate in risky trading behavior because they feel as though they're not making progress and then they want to press to achieve the results because we become so result oriented. A lot of us who have been in markets for a while have blown up an account or two and it becomes pretty obvious that if I have to take three months off of trading or I have to take six months away from the markets, I'm really diminishing my progress as a trader. In fact, I'm taking several steps back. So the trader that is trading for five dollars a day and you know is making essentially zero financial progress but is participating in markets every single day the trader that's trading a one lot micro every single day is going to make far more progress than the trader who goes absolutely bananas for three months at a time and then blows up their account and can't trade for another three months so the tip here is to construct some balance into your life make sure that you have things that bring you fulfillment and happiness in your life use those things as motivation to do the right thing in trading so get a picture of your kids or your dog or your wife or your motorcycle or something sit that at your desk and remind yourself the next time you're going to go take a fomo trade or the next time you are revenge trading remind yourself what you're doing it for and so even if you're not achieving success in the markets right now make sure that you stay committed to the balance that you wanted to achieve in your life. If you've enjoyed this two minute trading tip, please do us a favor and go ahead and hit that like button. And for more trading tips, subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications.